So what is going on guys? In this video, I'm excited to share with you how to master the one call close. What I'm about to share with you is behind the scene actions. You're going to see my screen, the softwares that I use, and I'm also going to share with you my screen of me doing the actual application. And you're going to hear how I do this start to finish from picking up the phone to closing the clients to getting the client to basically sign for life insurance, all that fun stuff. Obviously, the client's information is going to be disclosed, and most importantly, um, I'm going to share with you how to master the one-call close, become a better closer, and actually make money in the life insurance industry. Go ahead, and this video brought you value. Let me know if you want more like this, but I love you guys. I want you to win, and most importantly, I hope this video helps you make more money in your journey. Take care. Cheers. Let's get it. Hey, Miss Donna. Hey, Donna. This is Peter. I'm just getting back with you here. Sorry, I've been really busy in regards to this request you sent in. It shows that you uh, listed a uh, Taylor... Rivera would be your beneficiary. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay, and you put down here that you were done. Is that is that correct? Uh -huh. Okay, and for you here, Miss Donna, you mentioned to me here that you have the the life insurance now. Were you looking for something more affordable or just a bit extra? A bit extra. Okay, and how much do they have you with now? Thousand. How much? Five thousand. Oh, five. Thousand. That's all they let you have. Oh man, they probably put you with that two year waiting period too, didn't they? No. Okay, this is odd. Huh. I think it was a year. Okay. What is the name of that company they put you with? That's odd. Lumico. Okay, Lumico. And how much are they making you pay for that five thousand? Uh thirty nine ninety nine. Thirty nine ninety nine. Okay. And are you a smoker or anything like that? Um, okay. Have you been smoke, uh, tobacco free for the last 12 months? Uh, not 12 months. Okay. No. Okay. Good. Well, good for you. Wow. It does show that is pretty expensive. And are you just concerned you don't have enough coverage right now? Okay. They're making you pay 40 bucks. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Lumico. Okay. So kind of how we work here, Miss Donna is, uh, yeah, that shows that you are. Wow. Um, the most affordable and reduced plan statewide. Now the way that we do this for you, Donna, is that we're going to look through all 26 carriers here in the state and see which one would give you that most affordable and reduced plan for you. Like these special programs out there that are only available for those. Um, now I just want to let you know, there's no doctors showing up to your house, no needles, no blood work. I'm actually able to get you some answers here over the phone. Okay. Now for you here, Miss Donna, uh, you mentioned, um, you are okay. Got I got your birthday here, seven twenty three of sixty. Is that you? Yeah. Okay, great. And what is your approximate height and weight? Okay, two twelve. Okay. And any heart attacks, strokes, or cancers before? No. Okay. And then with your diabetes, are you on metformin? Or are you taking that insulin? Insulin, Genuvia. Okay, insulin and Genuvia. Okay, and then. For your for your insulin, did you start taking that before or after the age of fifty? Uh, before. Before. Were you in like your thirties or forties? What would you say you started using that? Uh, probably back in my early thirties. Okay. The important question here is: Did you start take? I think did you start taking it after the age of thirty though? Yeah. Okay. Good. So you're like your thirty-five, thirty-six. Yeah. Okay. And then um, what was your last A1C reading by chance? Was it less than or greater than 8%? Uh, wow, that's good for you. And how about uh, any any complications, any neuropathy, retinopathy, or any type of um, amputations before with your diabetes? Okay, neuropathy. Do they have you taking gabapentin or are you on Lyrica? Okay, Lyrica. And how's that been for you? Has it been helpful? Okay, Lyrica, and you're treating that every day with the Lyrica? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And um, outside of that, you said no amputations, lovely. And then for you here, any strokes, any any types of, of um, respiratory concerns, any inhalers, COPD, can, anything like that? Okay, great. And then any other medications, any amlodipine, lisinopril, carbidolol, what are you taking for the heart? Like a, um, low, dose aspirin day. low dose aspirin. Okay. You weren't on any Plavix or Eliquis before any blood thinners? No. Okay, good. That's good for you. And then um, they put the aspirin on here. They didn't put you on any amlodipine to help with the kidneys at all? Um, okay. That's all. 
lisinopril, they didn't put you. How about any water pills, any uh, spironolactane or furosemide? Okay, amen. And how about any kidney or liver problems at all? Good. You've been blessed. And how about any anxiety, depression medications, any um, Zoloft, Prozac, anything like that? Okay, so no anxiety, depression, bipolar. Uh -uh. Okay, do you have, and then any other medications we might have not mentioned? This is just really important. Anything else that you forgot to mention to me about the medications? Uh, not that I know of. Okay, good. And then no HIV, AIDS, ARC, you don't need help eating, bathing, dressing, toileting, nothing like that? No. Good. And um, how about any COVID in the past 30 days? Okay, amen. And any recent hospitalizations in the past six to 12 months? No. Okay, cool. Awesome to hear for you. And um, this is looking good for us. Wow. Um, and then lastly for you, is there anything else that I didn't miss for your medical portion? Just want to make sure I'm really just guiding you and steering you in the right direction. Is that basically covered all, covered all for you? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. This is looking good, Miss Donna. Um, by chance, you have a pen and paper one. You want to share with you all my personal information. It's just really important, Miss Donna, with the way of the world that you would just know who you're talking to today. Bro, you can just tell in her voice she's like interested and she's going to buy if she has the money. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, sometimes they like to run from us. <laughs> and no oxygen or inhalers? No. Nope. Okay, good. You've been blessed. So I want to get to know why she's only has 5,000. She's definitely with a good policy. <laughs> I hear you, Brian. Like, she knew what I was calling for. Okay. You doing all right over there, Miss Donna? Yeah. Okay. Let me know when you have that pen and paper. I'll walk you through kind of my information. Okay. Okay. I've got it ready. okay perfect. I was about to walk over there and knock on the door, making sure you're all right. Okay. So my first and last name <laughs> is Peter Roberts. Peter Roberts, Peter Cottontail, whatever it is, that's me. And then also I want to give you my personal cell phone number. Miss Donna, this is the number that you can call me any day of the week. You want to go ahead and give that to Taylor as well. It's this 443 number, 84, okay? Four four three eight. Okay. Also, also want to give you my government identification here in the state. Um, it's just really important to me that you know who you're talking to. Over here in Tennessee, they require by law that I share this with you. It's going to share with you that I'm licensed with the state, that I've been through multiple background checks. It's going to share with you the color of hairs on my head, where I live, how many sisters I have, everything about me here. This number is 1950 is my government lookup identification number. Okay. Um, but Miss Donna, really fill me in. I'm 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 guess back to you here. What had you motivated to start looking around for some more life insurance or barrel insurance? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And are you concerned right now? You probably are aware that the funerals cost anywhere from ten to fifteen thousand. I guess who would be responsible for coming up with that gap if there was any extra excess bills since you don't have enough coverage right now? Who are you worried about? Okay. And is Taylor your daughter or your son? Okay. And um, are you just concerned that, you know, if something did happen to you, would he have to come out of pocket for those additional costs? Yeah. Okay. And is Taylor in a position where he come up with the maybe extra five to seven thousand dollars if something did happen to his mom? Possibly, but I would hate to do that to him. Okay, possibly, but hate to do it. Okay. You don't want him to have to, I guess, spend his hard earned money making sure that, you know, you get the barrel that you deserve. Okay. Well, it's really thoughtful and Sounds like this is pretty important to you. How long have you been looking into some extra coverage? Oh, okay, wow. What's been kind of holding you back? Is everyone just kind of giving you outrageous prices or just not getting you able to get qualified? Mm -hmm. I don't qualify. Okay, qualify. And I've never heard of that. You said Lumico, that policy that you're with, that's a five, they wouldn't give you more than 5,000? No, that was it. Wow. When did, they, when did they get that for you? Like a few weeks ago, a month ago? How long? 
Okay, a year ago. Okay. So they probably put you with a graded product, okay, which is interesting. Okay. And it sounds like you've been trying to get some, but like no one's been able to help you. Okay. And then any other concerns other than the burial expenses? Are you just trying to make sure that you don't have to leave any burdens financially to Taylor? Uh, that's it. That's okay. Okay. Beautiful. And sounds like, are you trying to plan it for a, a traditional burial or are you going to kind of go that cremation route? Uh, cremation. Okay. Cremation. Okay. Are you going to do a service as well? Are you going to have like, you know, um, Okay, so you're doing a cremation with the service because cremation by itself is three to four thousand, and then when you add in the casket, some of the arrangements, you're looking upwards. You know, a lady that I helped the other day was up almost twelve thousand um, dollars, and you're probably concerned that you know you're not going to die tomorrow, but you know when that time does come, it's probably going to be way, way more expensive, and you don't want to have that. That um, that okay, gotcha. And uh, we work with a lot of people, Miss Donna, that are on fixed income, Social Security, we're on really tight budgets. Um, what would you say your approximate monthly income is? Um, about 1062. 1062. And they'll give you an additional discount here. Some companies will. Does that go into like a car? Do you have like a valid checking account? Uh, card. Okay, card. Is that a direct express card or bank card? Yeah. Okay, direct express. Okay. And you don't have like a valid bank account, do you? Uh-uh. Okay, no worries here. Okay, so what I'm seeing here for you, mm -mm. okay, here, let's see what they're saying. Okay, well, I found one company here that would be willing to take you on with your age, your health, and also uh, with kind of like your financial standing as well. It's with the company I want you to write down. It's called AIG. Have you heard of them before? Yeah, I did. Okay, yeah, I probably want to. Oh, do you like Because, yeah, they've been in business for over 85 plus years. They haven't missed a payout claim. They are so well known and so established, and this is gonna be the one company it's showing you the only company that would qualify you with um, statewide. So it's looking good for us, and it's gonna be the cheapest rate for you as well with the Direct Express. It's with uh, AIG. This is the whole life coverage, Miss Donna. And you let me know, hey Peter, this is what I want or do not want. It's something where the cost will never change. It will be there for you forever, and it will never expire on you. So it's gonna be there to pay out to your son. Is that what you're looking for? Okay. Well, over here at AIG, they put down three options for you that you can you can go up or down based off of your budget and your needs. Now, they start off with an additional $7,000 option. They have an $8,000 option, and then they have a $10,000 option. And you could just really pick and choose and let me know what makes most sense for you and your budget, okay? Okay. So for something small like the additional $7,000, that's going to give you that 7 plus the 8, which would be $15,000. To be really honest with you here, Ms. Don, I think the 7000 would be all that you need. And here's how they make it affordable on a fixed income. That seven thousand for you, if you can get approved here, over at AIG, the seven thousand additional policy would be actually less than what you're paying right now. Um, it'd be um, forty two dollars and seventy three cents. Okay. Now they have an additional uh, five thousand dollar option as well. I don't know if you'd want the five thousand, but if you wanted to add on to what you currently have, this is like the basic basic starter plan. That five thousand. Um, just to have you, I guess, give you a little bit more peace of mind, that 5000 would be $31.09, basically like a dollar a day. Um, and then lastly is the 10000 Now, the 10000 might be more than you need. That would take care of your everything from now and into the future. I don't know if I'd truly recommend this. I generally think the 7000 would be all that you need. But the 10000 for you, um, if you can get approved here at AIG, would be $60.18. Okay. Now, our biggest thing here, Miss Donna, since you know, um, you've been saying people have not been qualifying, is to see if we get you qualified, but it shows it should be a good idea here. Um, you know, as a mother, what do you think would give you the most peace of mind? You think that five thousand or the seven thousand? Okay. And for you, Miss Donna, would that seven thousand, that forty two dollars and seventy three cents, would that be comfortable and affordable for you every month? Okay, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and see if AIG would qualify you. I just want to confirm something here. Your email is it Okay, you have no problems getting emails or anything like that? Okay, great. And then just, okay, we're logging in here for us. I want to make sure I put all the information on here. Uh, we're going to hit next. Have your birthday is July 20th. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, man, okay, here. I'll put your birthday 7, 23. And you want to go ahead and apply for that 7,000, you said, correct? Yeah. Okay, and I got you here in Tennessee. Is that right? Okay, here for you. 
and then we're going to hit continue. I got some good news over here at AIG. It's, all, it's, it's the only company that does this. They have a premium stop payment date. So uh, when you turn 90, just know that you don't have to put any more money into this policy. It'll be there for you forever. It's just a way that you know that at 90, you don't ever have to put a single dollar in. It'll be fully funded. Um, we're going to hit continue. This is at 42.73. And then they make me read this to you, basically, that we are applying over here at American General Life Insurance Company, that you are inside of the that pay requirement stop date at 90. You don't have to put any more money into it. And then also you are inside the eligibility range for the coverage between age 50 and 80, which is a blessing. And then just know here, Miss Donna, if you ever call me and say, hey, Peter, I want more coverage, the maximum amount that you could ever add up to would be 25,000, okay? Um, and then you would be the owner of this policy and the one like funding this, is that correct? Okay, just wanna make sure here. And as you know here, um, since this is the only option for you with your, your number here at AIG, you're probably aware this. The same thing happened over to your Lumico policy. They have that initial uh, graded period. So something did happen to you in the next two years. I mean, you're young and healthy. Due to natural causes, they pay out all the money that you've put into it times an additional 10%. If you pass away from an accident, trip and fall, motor vehicle, in the next two years, the full amount would pay out. Um, also, they have a terminal illness rider. So does that all make sense? Okay. And then for you here, uh, coverage would not start until like everything's delivered to you and you make that first policy payment. Just let you know. It's a, I just want to make sure I do everything ethically and I represent you the right way. Okay, Miss Donna. Um, you do have life insurance in place. We're just going to be adding on to that. Is that right? Okay. And are you a United States citizen? Okay. Just want to ask. And for you here, Miss Donna, just want to make sure I spell your name right. It's Donna D O. Is that right? And then your last name is L. Is that right? And then do you want to um, go ahead and add on your middle initial or should we just leave that off? Okay. And then were you born in Tennessee? Okay. Born and raised. Okay. Beautiful. And then I think I have your address here. 8834. Is that right? Oh. Okay. I think. Okay. Here. Let me just make sure I update that for it here. Is that right? Okay. And it's just the best cell phone number I can save in my phone so that I can check up on you every one to two months, making sure you're live and, and doing well. Here. Okay, okay, here. I have let me hit this on here. I got seven. Okay, here. And then who do you want to put on here as your beneficiary? Okay, Y L O R. Okay, here. And then just can you spell his last name for me? I just want to make sure I have that right. And then his middle initial, do you want to leave that on or just Keep it off. And then you want to leave it all to him or you want to add on someone else as well? Okay, so 50%, 50%. Okay, what is your other son's name? Okay, his last name. And then what is his middle initial? Okay, so now be your other son getting 50% of this policy as well. Okay, can you promise me that you'll give them my information? It's important that they know who I am, okay? And then for you, they're going to do your prescription check. All that's tied to your social, so can you verify that for me? Uh, my, uh, uh, they want to make sure they're putting the right person on here, not the neighbor. What's your social? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. They're going to give me a free, uh, quick uh, pre-check here. Also, I'm going to email you over a copy of the Patriot Act disclosure, it basically says that everything will be done electronically. Um, also a summary of your accelerated de uh, death benefits, that'll come to you in the email as well. Um, also, they may read this to you, no matter what option you choose, additional copies and disclosures will be sent along with your policy. You also have a policy 30 day free look period. So if you did decide to change your mind in the first 30 days, you could return your policy and the premium amount would be refunded, okay? They just maybe read that to you. The policy you wanted to come in the mail, Miss Donna, Okay, and then we're gonna hit continue. And then for you here, okay, let's see what they say. Let's cross my fingers here. Good, they gave me the first pre-check, which is a blessing, good. And then what would be the date where you'd kind of want everything to, I guess, start or kick in for you so that you are finally protected, Miss Donna? Okay, on the third of every month, does that work well for you? Okay, so nothing's gonna start until May 3rd of 2023. And then will you be funding that with like a checking account or like the Direct Express card? Okay, here. Okay, Direct Express. Okay, and what's the expiration date for that card? Okay, here. Do you mind grabbing that? Because I have to put the card on here. What's the card number? Uh, 
I know, man. I don't have to get it. Okay. Sometimes they start with five, three, three, two, or. Yeah. I think their MasterCard, is that right? Yeah. Okay, we're going to put MasterCard. Okay, they make me put this on here twice. I want to read this all back to you and make sure it's right. I have here. Okay, we're going to continue. Okay, good. Let me go through here for you. To this says, let me read this last statement for you. It says, to the best of your knowledge and belief, all state. Let me go back. Actually, here, all the statements on your application for life insurance are true and complete. You understand that no insurance will start or take effect until your policy is delivered to you, or that first premium is paid full. Um, you have not previously applied here in the last twelve months. You understand that the combined amount of total AIG life insurance guaranteed issue whole life insurance cannot exceed twenty five thousand. Miss Donna, your policy is going to be mailed to you and emailed to you. You can also access your policy online you may need to check like your junk folder sometimes to get sent over there but i'll make sure you get it the right way and you can also change your policy online if you ever needed to um do you agree to these statements and apply for this coverage if so state yes okay so what they're going to do next for you here miss donna they're going to send you out an email to submit this policy um so go into your um go into your email it's going to say aig let me know